segue from that into some more love advice. We interviewed Kalen Rosenberg a couple of years ago from a segment we used to do on the morning show called Minnesotan to Meet. Yep, you might know her as one of Oprah Winfrey's go-to experts as the host for the love ambassador of the series Love Town USA on OWN. Happy to have Kaylin with us here on Mid-Morning to talk about love and relationships as Valentine's Day approaches. Kaylin, nice to have you with us. Well, thank you. Hi, good morning. Before we get into some of the things we plan to talk about, what do you think about this vacation idea? Uh, I think it sounds really great, especially right <laughs> well, now. Yes. Just whatever you love can go. Love yourself you know. and go. Is go that a good way, though, someone? to go with someone that you're dating? Like, you need to be a little cautious about that, right? Well, hopefully, if you're dating, you know enough about them to know they're a yeah. good and safe person. Sure. But I think it's a fabulous way to truly get to know the truth of someone and all their little idiosyncrasies and yes. little quirks that could come True. out, and you could go from turned on to turned off really fast, or the complete opposite. Okay, right? so we're pro vacations. What are what are some of the mistakes though, hmm. that people make when they're they're starting to date? People aren't going into love authentically, and they're not really entering love or any relationship knowing who they really are and what their values are and what matters most to them when it comes to love in a healthy relationship. So when you hear oftentimes uh, people, especially dating online, will say, I met this person for the first time and they looked 20 years older, or they, look, they were sadly yeah. 50 to 100 pounds heavier. It's not about the weight. It's about loving yourself where you are at enough to just show up authentically as to who you are so now there there's no surprises right we have a yeah. chance to just show up and be real and be who we are i think the other mistake is that um, this whole misconception of the rules. I think if there is a rule, it's to just again fully be yourself and be real. If you're saying, I want to get married right now, I want to have babies right now, right. that could be a turn off to most, but it will be a turn on to the right person and your partner. Right, you're being friends. honest just about be what real. you want. Yeah. yeah. Is it okay to ask, you know, why is it that you're struggling finding a healthy relationship? Yeah, we're, we're humans, right? Yeah. We're not singles, we're human that, you know, humans that haven't found the right one yet. And we're all looking for the one. And so let's just show up and be who we are and ask those questions and see how we respond to them and see if it's a fit. I think yeah. a lot of people will say going into a relationship or a first date, they'll say, okay, these are red flags. And if I hear this, I'm out. How do you know which should be deal breakers and what ones you can kind of work past? Right. Well, once again, if you really know yourself and you know and honor your value system, what you yeah. need to be happy, any red flag is there to be a teacher. It doesn't mean all red flags mean that it's a deal breaker and you need to be out of the relationship, but it means that there's a teacher waiting to learn something from so that you can figure that red flag out. Is this a person that is showing early signs of narcissism, of soci uh, sociopathic energy about them? Is it someone you just can't trust or rely on or feel safe with? At the same time, is it something quirky like they happen to be late all the time, they got away with it in the last relationships, or their parents were always late, it's a family norm, but for you it just doesn't work? Mm. Um, but again, it, check in with this red flag and how it equates to your value system. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me.